So I got a new purse. It's a Michael Kors with black leather. This one was my old one and she is coach. I always like keeping my phone on the back pocket just for easy access. For the first little front pocket, I like to carry at least two lip products, my Powdered Kiss lip color, and then any type of gloss, I have the Fenty Beauty Heat. My lip balm, this one's like a little macaron. For the second one, I just keep my wallet, Sneeko. As for the middle pocket, I just put like random stuff like maybe my AirPods and some clip. A bigger one just in case it's hot and I just want to put my hair up real quick. A smaller one and I put it um, on the back of my hair. A mirror, some lotion, this one's a snowflake cashmere, and a mini perfume, this one's Beautiful Belle. And that is basically all I like to carry inside my purse. Maybe if I need more stuff I will add it, but this is like my main essential. I'm gonna start doing my nails. My sister usually does my nails, but I'm gonna try to do them by myself today. I do have her nail equipment, like her LED light, her nail drill, and some more extra stuff. I'm not doing acrylics, I'm gonna be doing um, Gel X nails. I'm gonna use the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. This one is a jelly polish, so it's gonna be clear, and I'm gonna need to do at least like two to three layers to actually show up. And this one is just a sheer pink one. I also ordered some nail art from Shein little heart gems and like the little gold outline. 
These ones are transparent. I believe they're bows, flowers, and little bears. These ones are kind of like little hooks, but I'm planning on making a little heart with them on each nail. that I ordered like last time. Doing Gelex nails by yourself looks easy, but it's kind of um, hard. guys since I still have time I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my pencil pouch I showed a little bit like a little snippet on my last video but I didn't really show anything inside this is my pouch I ordered this off of Amazon I just have these mechanical pencils in the front pastel by the way this is how it looks like without anything inside I got this cute little um, mechanical pencil from Sanrio silicone bear diamond polka dot pen this cat eraser on one side it has the eraser and on the other it's to pick it up grab some lead and this one is a little peach then from miniso i got two pens um i got these they're double-sided so one side is thicker and the other side is thinner i actually thought these ones were for drawing but they're actually highlighters band-aids you never know if you or your friend like gets hurt and you just need to put some on little pearls some bear stickers these i ordered um when i ordered my nail art i just find it kind of funny how like um i chose all hearts and i barely decide to put them in now which is like february valentine's day speaking of valentine's day i didn't get to record on that day because i think i was like busy taking pictures and i kind of forgot to show you guys but i did post some pictures on my instagram so if you guys want to check it out it is underscore at curvy peach i actually got this for my macbook for these pearls i actually don't know what to do with them i was thinking about putting them on the computer as well but i didn't know if that was too much or put them on my phone i'm not sure i didn't bring my laptop today so i will just insert a clip putting them on later when i get home and then this one i've been having it's a little noodle cat pen but i just wanted to put it um on the bag and then I'm gonna put this pin I think right here. I have a lot of trouble with this pin. The little, the little hook keeps falling off. Oh, I forgot that I bought this from Mini Sale. So 
little packet of sticky notes. I was going to put a sticky note on the inside of the journal and put the name of it just so I can easily see what subject it is and then just take off this tag. Like for now, I have that one as bio lecture. It's starting to get warm again. Um, I still feel the little breeze, but it's kind of okay now. Currently in Sally's and I'm just looking for a brown dye just to go back to this color. Kind of a dark brown, so it seems medium. I was planning on getting my ears pierced before I dye my hair, but it's saying that I can't dye hair over like a human ear. I'm gonna do things backwards. I'm gonna dye my hair first and then get my ear piercing later. So yeah, I'll see you guys at home. Good morning guys, I am finally back to brown. This is how my hair looks like. Right now it's kind of wavy, but I'm gonna curl it before I leave. Today is the last day I will be filming for this vlog. I'm going to get my ears pierced today. I'm gonna get two on my right ear, one on the corner and then one inside. For today's fit, I'm gonna wear this Hollister set. It's a crop tank with a shrug, black mom jeans from American Eagle, the ones that have the cut in the knee. Before I leave, I actually wanted to show you guys something. I got some pairs of contacts. They are from TTDI. So this is how it looks like when you open it. It just comes with a little pamphlet, stickers, and a mirror. Each box comes with a little glitter. These ones are butterflies, and then I also have blue hearts. I do own prescribed color contacts, but I just wanted to use these. Every time I get contacts, I clean them with the eye contact solution overnight. I just pour some on the palm of my hand and clean it with a small finger, maybe my pinky. And then I wear them the next day. I don't just take them out from the package and put them straight on. I feel like that would kind of irritate your eyes. I could be wrong, but I just like to make sure. The first pair I have is amber pink, tony gray brown, for the ones that I ordered like I think a few weeks back, I don't have like their names so I'll put it here on the screen. They're both gray but I think this one is lighter. In between contacts, I'm going to be washing my hands. Always make sure to have clean hands before touching contacts and your eyes. Each container does have little tweezers with silicone on the tips and then it comes with this little thing. The first pair I'm going to try on is the Pony Gray Brown. The difference between this one and the other contacts is that it has a rim around it. So the inside is like a dark blue gray and the outer edge is brown. I wore these already on Instagram. Up next, I'm going to try the lighter gray contacts. 
as you can tell this one looks a little darker since it does have the rim and this one is just um gray all around these contacts are very comfortable these ones blend in nicely with your eye color now i'm gonna try the other ones that look similar but they're a little bit darker these are the third pair of contacts you can't really tell like at first glance these ones are more of a blue what makes this one lighter is more of like the yellow tone inside and in this one it has like gold which is darker like i think i can get away if i just wore them out like this i also wore these so i'll put a picture here to show you guys next i'm gonna try on the amber pink So I actually really like these a lot. You can't really tell that they're pink. They're more like a gold brown if you see them from far away. And towards the outer rim, you could start seeing a little bit of pink. Not many people like to wear like pink purple contacts because they think it's going to be like the cosplay one where they're like really really pink. I'm sure they have other versions of pink. If I do find them, I'll put them right here. I ordered the ones that are one year replacement. I think I'm gonna use the pink ones today. I've actually never taken a picture with them or wore them the whole day. If you guys wanna go ahead and get a pair of contacts, you guys can use the code PeachyKim to get a discount. Heat protecting spray. I'm gonna use the Amika Curling Iron. I don't leave it on too long so it doesn't create a crease. It looks so fancy with the bow, and I feel like it matches my nails. It has a minimalistic look, but it's still very pretty. It also smells very pretty. It also comes with another mini perfume, so you can put it inside your purse. I'm gonna put the MAC Pigment Color Powder inside my inner corners and on my highlight. So this one's very pigmented, so I just tap it once. Depending on how bright you want your highlighter, you can keep um, applying more. earlier but I bought their piercing aftercare fine mist we're supposed to clean our ears twice a day so one time in the morning and then one time at night I don't know if I have a high pain tolerance but it was like a 6 out of 10 maybe a 5 it didn't hurt when they did it and it doesn't hurt now I already washed my hands but I'm gonna clean them with this alcohol wipe one for each um, piercing this will be posted a little bit later after the video before this I do have more content planned, so make sure to subscribe, like so you don't miss my upload, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!